Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is a how-to video to replace the chip on your brother toners. A while back when I started posting videos on YouTube, I posted a video about fixing printing issues on the brother printer, which got almost 1k view, where I said that I'll be posting a chip replacement video pretty soon. So here it is. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartwatches and smartphones have to videos like this one, DIY videos and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find curated playlist for various content we post on this channel. So I have this TN760 toner cartridge for my brother printer model number HLL2390DW. This is not an OEM, original equipment manufactured product. For a while I have used non-OEM toners as they are obviously cheaper and for me a high yield toner TN760 easily gives approximately 5000 prints um, as I get 5000 papers bulk from Costco and the ink runs until I almost run out of the papers and I have to purchase new paper and toner together. So I always get my toner from Amazon and since I'm a Prime member they are delivered in just two days. Speaking of Prime, if you guys haven't tried Prime, make sure to try it out for free from the links in the description of this video where you'll also find link to purchase this high yield TN760 toner and you can also find the video I did to fix the printing issues which is linked up in the card section and at the end of this video. Check it out once you're done watching this one. Now it came in a nice box like this from Canada Post. Inside the box is the toner nicely packed in a black plastic with foam padding on the side. This toner will work with a wide variety of printer um, listed right here. Once opened, inside is the TN760 high yield toner with a nice roller cap to avoid the ink powder leakage. This particular toner does come with a built-in chip. If the toner you get does not have a chip, don't worry, I have shown how to replace the chip later in this video, so stay tuned till the end. Now, once your toner is running low on ink, you may not always get a message on the printer display. However, you may start noticing dull or lighter prints, especially the prints from copy. And sometimes the printer may show that the toner has few ink left, but the, print, uh, but the printout will be very light and fainted. To find the toner ink level, press this menu button, find the option of machine info, and click uh, it. And there you will find the option of parts life where you find the toner ink level. So now that my toner is low on ink, let's go ahead and replace it with this uh, high yield non OEM toner cartridge. So to pop the printer open to reveal the drum on both side of the printer, you'll find a release latch. Just pull it away from the printer and the tray will snap open. Instantly you will see the drum with the toner sitting on it. So to release the toner from the drum, press the green release button down to pop up the toner from the drum. Once done, drag the whole drum with the toner out. Now since we uh, already released the toner from the drum, lift the toner out and check the roller. If the roller is dry with no power powder ink on it, then it's a visual indicator that the toner must be replaced. A new toner will have a dark black roller. To find the chip of the toner, uh, flip the toner around to find the chip on the left hand corner. The chip is mandatory for the printer to reveal the ink level on the display. If you don't have a chip, you won't be able to see the toner ink level. The new toner I ordered from Amazon has a chip installed already. Let's go ahead and pop the roller case open by pulling it out from the top part of the toner. Uh, 
Right off the back you can see the roller is pretty dark unlike the roller of my used toner which was very light uh, with barely any ink powder. So this is a visual indicator that the toner is full. Now since this toner has a built in chip, let's go ahead and remove the chip from my old toner to show you guys how to replace the chip if you ever have to, which is really a simple process. Now this is the chip with the electrical component attached under the chip. So just like a SIM card, you have to pop it out sideways. Avoid touching the copper part. I would recommend using a glove. In my case, since I won't be using this chip at all, I'll just go ahead and use with my bare hand. You can use something like a metal folder clip or a flathead screwdriver to slide the chip out. Once the chip is out, just slide it back into the new toner and job done. Okay, let's go ahead and insert the toner back into the drum and the drum back into the printer. Once the new toner is installed, your printer will be ready to print. Let me show you the ink level of the new toner as a proof that the new chip is working absolutely fine. It will be the same process as shown earlier in this video to find the toner ink level. And there you go, it was super easy and quick to change the toner along with the chip for the brother printer. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.